Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to be giving you an example of using the range function inside of a for loop. So this is the for loop we had in the previous video where we're basically going through this list of people and printing each one. We're separating each of the people by a space. At the end, we're doing a new line to bring the prompt down to the next line. However, sometimes you're going to want to do a loop like this, but you don't want to be working with a list and printing each one. Well, in this situation, we can change this loop. So let's start fresh and it's going to look very similar. You're going to say for, and then you're going to create a variable to represent the data in each loop. So we'll say I, and then you say in. And based off of the previous video, you would put the list name here, but we don't have a list to work with. So instead, we're going to say range, and in here, we are going to pass in a, a number to stop at. So let's say 10, and then a colon, just like normal. And then what we can do is we can print i to see what the data is. So running this, and it looks like we get all the way from zero to nine. So that's what the range function does. When you create a range, it's going to stop at 10 exclusive. So it goes from zero to nine. Another way you can think of this number is how many iterations of the loop. So this is the first iteration, this is the second, all the way up to the 10th iteration. So if you know you need to make a loop that executes 10 times, here's how you would do it. You would say for i in 